today's show. Are you guys ready to rock? Dueling Divas. I think you're going to say you're 50. Wow. I'm thinking you're in your 40s. Ooh. I thought this Becky going to blow. Finger food faux pas. Have you had caviar before? No, I have. Get your drink ready. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> Gotta get this out of the bowl. I was absolutely horrified when you spat the caviar out. And dehydrated dinners. I think I'll beat more juice. I can rustle some up. She's gonna spit in your sauce. <laughs> Why did I even bother to ask for anything? As a quintet of Gene Cook's cover to Cash Cram Flosh. I preferred it if it was hard, but floppy's all right. It's day two in and around Birmingham, birthplace of the Balti. I'm a fan, so's my nan. Nan, thank you. And hoping to keep calm and carry on... I am feeling the pressure. ...is today's host, Sri Lankan-born security officer, Rebecca. Tonight, I'm going to bring exquisite food. I just think it's going to um, tantalise their taste buds and my night is going to be the best night of the week. <laughs> It'll be tough beating night one host, credit controller Sophie... Aww. ..who treated her guests to only the finest ingredients. So this is a lovely piece of filly, so it's a crime to cook it well done. And plenty of them. Does anybody want any extra portions? Because there's some left. Everyone seemed to enjoy it, everyone got on well, everyone ate the food, so I think I'm in with a pretty good chance of winning. Aspiring rapper Owen was definitely a convert. Oh, this is the main course. <laughs> <laughs> All the food I ate last night, it, uh, it made me not want to eat nothing for about another two days. There's my answer. <laughs> and there you go. That was lovely, that was. But for care worker Donna, one guest proved slightly less palatable. Have you left any truffles? Last night, Rebecca was the loudest one out of all of us, really. I can never look like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> if she keeps on talking, she's going to get on my nerves. A sentiment echoed by hairdresser Richard. I'm a loud person and I'm normally the loudest in the room. Rebecca just doesn't allow that. I've just got the, the burnt bits. <laughs> <laughs> her favourite sound is her own voice. Cheers! Cheers, well done, Cheers. well done. In the end, Sophie's food did all the talking and she scored a very respectable 31 out of 40. So, what's everyone expecting tonight? I'm really hoping there's nothing bland. I hope she doesn't let us down on this one. So, Rebecca's night tonight, it's just going to be about Rebecca, 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 Rebecca. Ooh, all right. Sophie set the bar really high. But I'm confident with my food and I'm going to bring it today. <laughs> Someone's chipper. Rebecca's kicking off her nosh with Sri Lankan fish cutlets with kadala. When it comes to fish, I like fish fingers. Who doesn't? I'm hoping this is all fresh food. If it was tinned, I mean, there's no effort in that, is there? Well, you've still got to open it <laughs> and get them out. <laughs> I love fish, I do, as long as it's spicy. It has to have that spice that edge on it. That edge comes courtesy of pepper, chilli, curry leaves, garlic and ginger. And it all goes. Along with spuds. This is going to be fit for a queen. The majestic mix is formed into balls. They'll be breadcrumbed and deep fried later. Now the kadala. What is kadala? It's spicy chickpeas, Dickie. Oh, sorry. I'm not a fan of chickpeas. You say that, but these little fellas have been pimped up with oodles of spice and coconut. How's that? Whew. That has got a kick. It is definitely hot enough. The main's next. Mutton and veg curries with putu. I'm really looking forward to the main course. Mutton curry, right up my street. Uh, couldn't be happier. Mutton is a risk. Because I don't know if anyone's even eaten mutton. Really don't like mutton. Well, mutton's a sheep on a pension, isn't it? It's not the good cut. It's not the good bit. It's, it's the sheep that's had it a little bit, isn't it? This one has. The senior sheep ends its days in a pan with authentic Sri Lankan spices. What a wonderful send off. Any good? Ooh! Lovely. 
Finally, Rebecca adds tomatoes and creamed coconut. Now, the veggie version. What are those? These are very traditional beans. We don't have any short beans. So these are my long beans. Do you like my beans? Very fetching. Now get them off your head and get them in the pan. I've got two curries on the go. I've got two curries on the go. Show off. I think puto could be another word for chips. And I love chips. Sorry, Donna. No chips tonight. Puto is uh, just rice flour mixed with water. Um, and it's sort of like a supplement replaces rice. After a bash to remove lumps, it's layered with coconut, then cooked in a fancy steamer. Happy with that? Oh, no, it's all crumbling. I preferred it if it was hard, but floppy's all right. <laughs> That's my mantra. Last to prep is pud, and it's over to Donna to attempt the pronunciation. Walla pam pan. Hmm. Rebecca? Vatilapum is the Sri Lankan version of creme caramel. Yeah, big tick from me. Yeah, I enjoy that. It's nice, soft dessert. It's nothing too heavy. For the custard, Rebecca adds nutmeg and cardamom to sugar and eggs. And it's good for a spin in her new mix-up. This is the one that I bought. Oh, good grief! <laughs> oh! <sighs> oh, my God! <laughs> Have I broken it? <laughs> You've broken me! Accessories removed, composure regained, mixer fully functional. I think that'll do it. With a final slosh of coconut cream, it's ready to bake. The Queen visited Sri Lanka and had some of this, so this has got to be good. So with puds in the oven, that's the prep done. OK. Rebecca pops off to get changed. Meanwhile, her guests ponder tonight's royal dress code. Maharani and Raja, that's um, the king and queen. All wise up for getting dolled up, especially as a queen. I'm not going as a king. Here's to a right royal banquet. Looking fantastic, Rebecca. First for a regal reception is last night's host, Sophie. Hi. Hello. Oh, my God, you're so gorgeous. Thank you. So I've got you a coconut drink. Amazing. So there you are. I'll try not to drop, drop it. Well, the traditional drink in Sri Lanka is coconut. Ah. It's coconut juice. Yay! <laughs> Crikey, someone's thirsty. Open the door, Richard. Next in, lovely knocking, it's Richard. Oh, <laughs> welcome. Come in, you look, look absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. Mwah. Mwah. Uh, mwah. Mwah. Your outfit is absolutely stunning. Do you like it? Yeah, it's just one you had hanging up. Oh, yes. Just, <laughs> just one in the closet. I want to go in the closet and see what else you've got. No. Are you going to I haven't been in the closet for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Complete with crown, it's Owen. Hey. Hello! Hey. Look at you! Hey. Mwah. Mwah. You do know what a Raja is, right? A king. A king! That's why I got the crown. So you're the king, <laughs> you're the queen, and we're the queens. <laughs> well, it's a good job that was the look I was going for, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Last in, it's Princess Donna. Oh, my God, Donna! Come in, come in! Oh, mwah, mwah. Have you had caviar before, my daddy? No. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is fine food. Have um, a taste. Get your drink ready. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the raw reaction was like, oh, I've got to get this out of my mouth. <laughs> Same too. Taxi! <laughs> <laughs> Very dignified. I was absolutely horrified when he spat the caviar out because he could have actually just swallowed it, but he made a big scene about it. So um, that was uh, unacceptable. Here's to the best night of the week and the winning night. No. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, regal revelations. I truly believe that I do have royal blood in me. I think they could see that I was queen-like. Which is a little bit me, 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 me. And Huffy hosting. 
why mutton? Why not, like, the better part of the sheep? Your comments have already, you know, broken my heart. If it didn't go her way, she wasn't happy with it. It's night two in and around Birmingham. Yes! Where security officer Rebecca is hoping to sway her guests with a Sri Lankan slap-up and bag the £1,000 prize. So while she gets busy with the starter... Ah! Oh, beautiful. Donna and Sophie have nipped off for a nosy. Oh, oh look at this. Her lady she? Wow. Look at that. Oh, my God, look at his head. Is it a handbag? Or is it a natural crown? Look at that. Hey, does it look? It matches your outfit. Hello, your majesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look at the top of her bed. Oh, wow, look at that. A bed fit for a queen. She's a bit of a lavish lady anyway, because of the big four-poster bed and crowns round it. So it just shows she, she even loves herself in her sleep. Donna! Do you think that she's royalty, like Asian royalty? Who knows? We'll have to ask later. Yeah. In the kitchen, her ladyship's fishy balls are crisp and golden. That's good. And with a sprinkle of spicy chickpeas, the starter's good to go. Yep, they look fit for royalty. Let's get them on the table. Staff's night off, eh? Sri Lankan fish cutlets with kadala. Oh, there you go. It is customary that Sri Lankans eat with their hands. So... If you're OK with that, uh, we can give it a go. It's nice and spicy. It's got a really nice kick to it. It's water. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fish is inside? Pilchids. Oh, OK. Mm, tinned pilchids. The fish that was used cheapened the dish slightly. Even though it was tinned pilchard, I would have never have knew had we not asked her. That's how nice it tasted. It was nice. But it was standard at the same time. Earlier on, we had a snoop and we noticed a lot of crowns around the house. Do you have royal blood in you or is it just some sort of fascination with royalty? Well, it's a little bit of both. I truly believe that I do have royal blood in me. I mean, it's like, you know, I am pretty well known in my hometown, Jeffna in Sri Lanka. It's because they hear it before they see her. <laughs> <laughs> that too. And I used to act like I was somebody important even back then. So different groups of friends would just end up calling me Queenie or Queen. Oh, here comes the Queen. And then you all of a sudden think you are the Queen. You, be, you, become, you become it, don't you? I feel your pain so much. <laughs> I think they could see that... I was queen-like. They didn't look at me thinking, who does she think she is? Becky kept referring to herself as royal and the queen, which is a little bit me, 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 considering the rest of us at the table were just, like, normal. I suspect <laughs> she's normal too. It turns out her friends think she's a queen. I'm not sure how that means she's royal or not. I think it just means she's the loudest one in the room yet again. So I think my starter went down really well. There was no complaints. So I think I've got the winning starter. So far, so good. Now, with the help of a special guest, it's time to work up an appetite for the main. I'm Sohan, and I'm Rebecca's Bangra dance instructor. <laughs> and you can't have a Sri Lankan night without some Bangra and Bollywood dancing fun. Are you guys ready to rock? It looks like you are. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yeehaw! Then the funky chicken. <laughs> hey, the <clear. laughs> Go. Just go. Uh -huh. The Bangra dancing was fun. It was nice to have a bit of music, a bit of a dance, a bit of exercise in between courses. <laughs> it was really good to bring something else into the house besides food, drink, and Becky. Meow. On to the main. Flatbread is fried and curry's dolloped. This, to me, is my winning main course. And if they don't like this, then there's something wrong with them. Or it's just not very nice. Mutton and veg curries with putu. Wow. For your main. A 
I'm not a fan of mutton, but this doesn't taste too bad. Why mutton? Why not like the better part of the sheep? And what's the better part? Well, a, a bit that's younger. That was the oldest granny in the pan. I just couldn't even eat it. Uh, have you got a bit more juice? Oh, you would like some more gravy? Yeah. Right, I can rustle some up. So if you like that, you just need to give me five minutes and I can go and do it. So yeah. isn't it already done like with the meat? Oh, it is, but I just need yeah. to warm it up. OK, thank you. I'll get it to you. She's not happy about that. She's going to spit in your sauce. <laughs> All you could hear was clanging in the back. And it was so awkward, the table was so quiet. I heard a tutting and blowing from in the kitchen. I thought to myself, why did I even bother to ask her anything? Thank you. OK, anyone else? I'm pretty sure I wouldn't eat that sauce when it came back, so she might have added to it in some way. The putu, I'm not too sure about. I think I would have preferred a coconut rice. It was like mushed up rice that was left to just go a bit stale and dry. It's like all clumped together. So it's a little bit, it's a bit dry. You know when you forget to, like, creamy elbows when you come out of the buff? <laughs> it was, like, that dry. I'm sorry, like, it was really dry. I've had the extra juice and I still find it a bit dry. All good constructive critique, right? Guys, you, you know, your comments have already, you know, broken my heart. You know, I'm, I'm taking it pretty hard inside. Oh, but, um... You know, there's always room to improve. I do feel like my balloon has been popped. At one point, she said we'd broken a heart, and I think it was a bit dramatic. It was, it was food, you know. It's just, if it didn't go her way, she wasn't happy with it. And I think that's the kind of vibe we get from Becky. It's Becky's way. With the atmosphere tense, what better way to lift the mood than with an old chestnut, the age game? I've just celebrated my birthday uh, a month ago. So, um, why don't we play Guess How Old I Am? Buckle up, everyone. I think early 40s. I'd say you're about 43. OK, that's good. Yeah. Not being very nice now, but I was being kind. And I did shave off a couple of years. Cos I didn't want her kicking off like she did over the sauce. You know, I was sat right next to her. I had to protect myself. I think you're going to shock us. And I think you're going to say you're 50. Wow. Is that what I look like to you? No. I'm thinking you're in your 40s. Oh, yeah. Maybe oh. early 40s. Yeah, it's like that, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Awkward! Ooh. Go low, Donna. So I'm thinking about 52. <laughs> but you don't look 52. I'm just going on how you are as a person. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you still can like me. I thought, is Becky going to blow? I was being kind to Rebecca when I said she looked 52. Were you, though? I've asked you to guess my age, <laughs> right? And you come up with 52. <laughs> I mean, Donna said I was 52. I mean, how ridiculous was that? I mean... <laughs> the way you present yourself and your home, I'm saying... Quit now, Donna. So I've got an old home. No, it's An just... ageing home. You've got... Old stuff. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in behave yourself. Don't know what you're doing. Just digging massive holes. It felt like crawling under the table, to be honest. You mean the old table? I have just turned... 50. Oh, oh. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, I knew so. it. Your turn, Donna. I reckon you are... Probably around about 47. Yeah, I would say he was just reaching 30. Really? I've yeah. just told her she looks like 47. Yeah, cos you're looking at it from a 52-year-old eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! 48. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> no, I don't believe it. You're lying. Hang on, you believe... You don't believe that, but you believe I'm 50. Yeah, but Get that's a big... Young. I'm just upset that nobody thinks I'm younger. <laughs> I don't think I look anything like 52. Most people say I'm actually um, sort of look like 35 to 37 years of age and um, I'm happy with that. Oh, bless. Shall we see if your guests are happy with your bud? 
just a few fruits. If they don't like the dessert, they might like the fruit. Here it is, what alapan? I hope you like it. Mm -hmm. The texture just tastes a bit uncomfortable. The texture, the taste, slimy, gooey. Um, I just didn't like it. Is any of that going in your mouth? It did break on my gut. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a sweet taste. It was just bland. You know when you drop a biscuit in your tea? Yeah. And you've got that mushy flavour, like the tea and biscuits mm. together. It reminds me of that. I absolutely love it. I've almost finished it. I could, I could literally lick the bowl. Absolutely beautiful. Rich. <laughs> Cheers, mm. duck. <laughs> it just had the nice sweet elements. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I could have another one now. If I was going to give a score out of ten, I would give myself a nine at least. I think I deserved it. It's not up to you, though. Scores, please. I really enjoyed the Sri Lankan theme, but not the food so much. So for that reason, I'm scoring Rebecca a six. So I'm going to give Rebecca a six. I only enjoyed the starter. So for that, I'm going to give Becky a six. Average food, average night, so it deserves an average six. So the peasants have spoken, and with a less than majestic 24 points, Queen Becky's been dethroned. Next time, smelly stage names. The MC Sophie the Stank. What? Because after this week, I'm feeling mega gassy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't talk about that round the table, Sophie. That's not very ladylike. And a catchy chorus. Daddy's girl, girl. Daddy's girl, daddy's world. <laughs>